guys, it's Sam with Last Cast TV. Um, here with you today, back in the studio. I'm gonna do a little filming for you. I've been getting some questions about, you know, where have you been? Why haven't you been putting out videos? Are you still fishing? And yes, I'm still fishing. I've been on some good fish for the past couple months. Um, it's just kind of been one thing after another. Um, you know, I had a redfish trip planned. Uh, down south and the day we were supposed to leave record flooding um, on my bachelor trip we uh, took a guided trip out of um, Galveston and we get two miles out to sea and the boat breaks down I had motor issues it was storming we goose egged on a guided trip so the fish gods haven't been that great to me uh, recently uh, just been really busy you know um, helping my wife plan a wedding we got married did the whole honeymoon thing so you know i'm back um i'm gonna try to uh, put more videos out for you guys um what i'm bringing to you today is a huge tackle warehouse unboxing i got everybody i knew to buy me uh tackle warehouse tackle warehouse gift cards um just so i could get on there and kind of try some new things um you know i really wanted to step my game up for 2017 i got New rods, reels, baits I've never tried, baits that I have a lot of confidence in. Um, the purpose for all this, um, I want to see, it's not to brag or say, hey, I got a million dollars worth of fishing stuff for Christmas. It's, it's, it's like a sneak peek into another angler's tackle box. I think that's really important because you can kind of see what other guys are doing and you can kind of learn, you know, maybe I should try this or, you know, maybe uh, what he's doing is working, so... Um, so that's kind of what the video is about today is I just want to kind of let you in on what my new gear setup is for this year. I want to start off with my rods. This was the bulk of my order as far as the amount of money spent. So, um, I want to bring you brands you can't really buy locally. I mean, you can, but not, you can't just go to Academy and buy them. So I'll give you the first look at it just in case you want to kind of do like I did, do like I did, and kind of take the plunge into buying um, a little bit more expensive and better uh, rods and reels and stuff. So, All right. so first thing we have is the Daiwa um, DXB 701 MFB. It's a cranking rod. It's a medium action rod, and you want a medium action rod for with baits with treble hooks because the bend, whenever you set the hook, is much lower on the rod, and that really helps drive the treble hooks into the fish. Anytime you fish with um, a bait with trebles like a crank bait, lipless crank, um, some spoons, you take that risk of really losing a lot of fish because the hook doesn't have a chance to really get into the meat of the fish's mouth. So, Dye was a good brand. They make quality products. This was actually on sale for like $70 off, so I got a really good price on it. So, I'm going to use this for cranking. Another brand I'm really excited about is. Uh, Dobbins. Dobbins is a really good brand. Um, it's it's a lot of bang for your buck. This rod was $110. Um, I got on uh, to this from the guys at Tactical Bassin. They swear by these rods. And what this rod is, it's the 734C and it's a heavy fast action rod. I'm going to use this for jigs primarily. This year was the year of the jig for me. Um, jigs put more fish in the boat than anything this year um, I'm excited to have a really quality jig rod that I can really flip and fish with. I have a really great warranty Dobbins no questions asked um, I think it's like fifty dollars to replace a rod that you break. The last rod I got in this box is the Dobbins Fury FR 730C. Now this is my all-purpose rod it's a medium heavy um, and that's good from everything you can literally throw anything on this type of rod it's kinda like the workhorse um, style of rod. I just wanted to kind of get one because you know I don't I don't really fish with really expensive equipment. Um, I don't see myself ever spending you know three hundred four hundred dollars on a rod or a reel. Um, so this is good stuff bang for your buck um, quality and I'm really excited to try these out. First thing in the box is a lot of tackle warehouse swag. If you make um, a pretty big order they give you shirts and stuff so there's that got actually two of these hats um, one thing I'm really excited about is this Shimano Casitas 
uh, Shimano Casitas Reel. Um, it's about, I got it on sale for 99 I think they retail for $120. Um, I got it in the 6-3 to 1, which is a good all-around gear ratio. Um, you can throw anything you want on it. It's just a, really a matter of preference. Um, the paint job on this thing is just sick. I really like it. It's got the uh, bearings on the outside, so you can kind of control how fast the uh, line comes off the spool. Um, it's just quality. The cool thing about buying this reel is they sent me a spool. So the Tackle Warehouse had a sale or a promotion when you bought this reel. You got a free spool of Power Pro, Power Pro braid. I use this stuff all the time, flipping jigs. It's good braid. It's this stuff is like rope, will not break. So one bait that was killer for me this year was the Strike King Rage Menace Texas rig. Use it as a jig trailer. Honestly, this and jigs are the two baits that really caught most of my bass this year. Um, as far as colors, almost with everything, I like to keep it real simple. Green pumpkin, or some kind of green variant, and black and blue. Kind of your water clarity and conditions really dictate um, what you throw. But, see, this is what it looks like. Guys, if you're new to soft plastics, some soft plastics have this thing where you have to tear it. Now, if you don't tear it, there's no action to this bait, so you're just kind of pissing the wind. So, make sure you tear that off. Crazy action. Really good lure. Next up, it's another jig trailer. V and M, some grubs. These are uh, they go on the back of jigs. This gives the fish a different look, and they're really effective during the winter. It's uh, it's what you call like a dead action. I mean, there's action in the little pincers, but uh, something about that cold water, it's kind of more natural to the um, for the bass to see, and you can get bit on these as a trailer versus like a crawdad because crawdads aren't they're not running around um you know all times of the year when the water gets cold they get lethargic too just like the bass so something i'm really um gonna try to do this year is really conserve line i have a bad habit of wasting a lot of line so that what this is is braid aid it you can use it for any kind of line it just conditions your line keeps uh, the memory out of your line and uh, it's had a really good review so I decided to pick up a bottle of that. Alright, so this is the Big Bite Baits Coontail. Um, there's guys who make living, can make a living, or do make a living throwing a shaky head and this is one of the most um, deadly baits on a shaky head. It's just, it's got a crazy t um, shape to it. And when that bait's sitting on the bottom, that tail just sit there, sits there and wiggles, man. It's uh, I love this bait. I got this is called Hematoma. It's pretty cool, black and blue. Like I said earlier, two main colors, some kind of green variant and black and blue. You can't really go wrong. And that, you know, I said in my earlier video that some baits are designed to catch fishermen, and some colors are just outlandish. You don't need neon green and flamingo pink and there's really only a couple that you need. Another big bait for me this year has been the Whopper Plopper. I got this in the 130 size. It's called Loon is the color. Um, this bait, I'll throw this over a buzz bait almost 100% of the time. I'm not saying buzz baits don't catch fish, but you know this is ex this is an expensive bait. It's like $18, but it's worth it. I caught some huge bass this year on this. This bait, you may see it. You're like, man, there's no way. This is the Buzzing Warmouth. Um, why I bought this is I'm looking like forward a couple months to spring when the bass are on beds. You rig this on a drop shot. You don't buzz it across the water how it's supposed to be fished. What you do is you just throw it on top of a bed and you just agitate the fish. They cannot stand it. I chose this color because it's easy to see in almost any kind of water clarity. Um, and plus these were like a dollar a pack so you can't go wrong with it so if you don't you never fish with something like this and you can't get a um, a bed bite a bed bass to bite try them got some square bills here lucky craft this is aurora citrus 
and this is uh, chartreuse. Um, good all around baits, use them all year long. Um, bang them off of stuff, you get a lot of reaction strikes with these. Next up is a Zoom Z Drop Green Pumpkin. This is a drop shot lure. I mean, you wouldn't think that little piece of rubber right there would catch anything, but one reason why I bought them, there is 15 to a pack, and you go through a lot of baits when you're drop shotting, especially when you're catching them. Because, um, I mean, potentially, you could use a whole pack of these in one day. Um, but I got one pack of these, one pack in black and blue. Really wanted to stock up on swim baits, so Kitex, Electric Blue and Chartreuse, Bluegill Flash, um, Green Pumpkin, Crystal Shad. So I, feed, I fish these on small swim bait heads as swim jig trailers. They're killer on swim jigs. A rigs. You just go through these so often and I bought a couple packs while they were on sale. So looking forward to summer, I bought these punch rigs. Some people call them a slither rig. All it is is a it's a tungsten weight attached to a skirt. You still have to run your hook through um, and attach a trailer, but um, these are one ounce. I really want to get into pitching this year, and I think this is a start because in Louisiana it gets super grassy, and like these are one. This is one of the few places where you can just go punching almost all year long. So I'm gonna get into that this year. I got some line. Seaguard and Vizex, 15 pound, cranking, spinnerbait, Texas rig. It's a really good line. All right, so I got two packs of Trocar hooks. In my mind, there's only one brand of hook, and it's Trocar. The, the hook design really, long story short, since I switched to these, I don't lose hardly any fish. Um, this is the EWG XL 4 alt um, Senkos, lizards, any soft plastic, really. Um, so a 15 pack was like eight dollars in tackle warehouse, and this is what I use to flip the uh, flipping XL 5 volt. Um, and you can take, I rig this with one of these menace, and you think that that hook's too big, but the way I look at it is the bigger the hook, the higher chance you have to catch that fish, and it doesn't affect the action. So don't be afraid to upsize your hook. All right, Dirty Jigs Tackle, Matt Allen Swim Bait Head. Matt Allen, Tactical Bassin. Dude knows how to catch them. I figured, why not? Um, spin Tricks Underspin. They got really popular. I've seen a lot of guys fish with these this year. I've never used one. Um, basically, you just put a Kitek or whatever swim bait uh, on the back of this, and the blade is underneath um, the head. It's kind of a different look than a spinner bait. Uh, Missile Baits, uh, Crawfather, and Bruiser. These are sweet, man. Um, check that out. All kinds of fleck in there. This will be cooler. Um, I think I'm going to use them probably on finesse jigs. Um, and this color is crazy. It's called Desert Storm. That's just crazy, man. It's going to be a really good bait this year. Oh, here's some more uh, Zoom Z Drops. Morning Dawn. I think it's their... If you ever fish with a Robo Worm in Aaron's Magic, that's kind of what that looks like. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Oh, some more... Now, these are the Big Daddy Swim Bait hooks. I have a bunch of huge swim baits I've never used. Uh, I think I'm going to try to target huge bass with those this year, and I think uh, this is going to do the job. 7 alt hook, 3 8 ounce weight, so it's going to get to the bottom quick. I'm going to be able to slow roll it. Dirty Jigs, Shaky Head, um, Scott Canterbury, Legendary Bass Angler, quarter ounce. When you can't catch bass on anything you throw, Shaky Head is really what I go to to uh, put bass in the boat. You may not catch big ones, but you'll start catching them. All right, dirty jigs. We got two jigs here, five eighths and three quarter ounce. Um, the plan is for the rest of the winter is really to get on the main lake points and just drag heavy jigs. Um, I love to catch them like that last year, and um, I think that's really a game plan. 
because since I got back from the honeymoon, I don't know where any fish are. Hadn't been fishing. I don't know. Another underspan. All right, bobber stoppers. Constantly running out of those. Sticker. One last thing here is the uh, 3DB Yozuri popper. This is what I'll try. I know the water's cold, but I still like to try top water. I don't care what the temp is. You never know. I love catching them on top water. So even when that water's cold, sometimes if you slow pop a popper, you can catch them. All right, guys. This was a te huge tackle warehouse unboxing um, for Christmas. If you learned anything or there's any kind of new baits you're going to pick up because of this video, just drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, just be looking for me in 2017. I'm planning on bringing some really good fishing footage for you guys.